Pauline Hanson's dislike of Islam, including the burqa, is no secret. Her question time stunt raised more than a few eyebrows. But what does the outspoken politician really know about life in a suburb like Lakemba? Leila McKinnon took Senator Hanson out of her comfort zone to find out. There's no doubt about it. Pauline Hanson knows how to get our attention. Oh, what on earth? She's controversial. I'm prepared to say it. I don't let political correctness stand in my way. And I have Tough. Because there's too many gutless bastards in this place. And polarising. We don't go to certain areas now. Lakemba, Bankstown, these areas, they're no longer Australian. Walking down the main street of Lakemba is definitely not on the Queensland Senator's bucket list. Senator, you've spoken about Lakemba before. Have you been here? No, I haven't. I've, yeah, I've had no wish to come to Lakemba, I can tell you that. And before this, she'd never gone near the place. It looks very foreign to me. Colourful and multicultural, the main street lined with Middle Eastern restaurants and with 59% of its population Muslim, Lakemba is a long way from Pauline Hansen's farm outside of Ipswich and it's helped put immigration at the top of her agenda. This is so un-Australian and it's grown more and more. What worries you about communities like that? Because there are communities here, people here, who have no intention of, of assimilating into our society. Aussies have been forced out of this area. They've lived here all their lives. They've grown up in the area. They don't feel part of it anymore. But these and people are Australians. Well, a lot of people don't choose to actually assimilate into the Australian way of society. They don't want to speak the language. You know, these people don't want to be part of Australia. They've just taken a chunk of it. And, and it's as if they've moved from their own country, bringing it out here. So that is a you concern. don't see a tidy, law-abiding suburb of new Australians who are hard-working? That's not how you see it? Can I actually tell you that a lot of the police will not come to this area? Police will not attend to it because they're in fear? I feel safe walking down the street here if I was on my Wonderful. own. Wonderful. We're the surrounded... Great, Lila. We're surrounded by police. I would come back. Oh, you would. Do you think I would? No one in the wide world. No, that's where you came from. Go back where I came from. Hey, hang on a minute. This is Australia. I was born here. I should be able to walk anywhere that I want to in this country. Go wherever I want to. Despite the odd person shouting out from a car or down the street, locals welcome Pauline Hanson with open arms. And hello. Hello. Thank you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello, Pauline. How are you? Well, welcome to Lakemba. Thank you. And nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. How are you? You like it in Lakemba? My first time here. Would I move here and live here? Yeah. No. Well, I think you've had an astonishingly warm welcome here. Yeah. Do you still stand by your views of it's a dangerous and unwelcoming place? Look, Lala, you keep saying, OK, it's dangerous. There's stats and people. And here it, that I, what I hear from people, it is the case here. We've done a street walk, and you think that's that just, you know, it says everything's all right. It's not. So. I haven't converted you to Lakembo. You're not going to be coming back in a hurry, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not. Well, uh, that was definitely on my big no list even before we got out of the car. <laughs> so it's not happening, thank you. I have no intentions of living in Sydney. Today, the senator from Queensland is more comfortable in Canberra. If you do a crime in society... But when she burst onto the scene 22 years ago as a fiery independent, Parliament House was a frightening place. I come here not as a polished politician, but as a woman who has her fair share of knife life's knocks. What do you think, looking <laughs> back at that? <laughs> oh, I was nervous. I was really nervous. It was terrible. And it made headlines. Were you anticipating that? Did you go out there to make a splash that day? I've never gone out to make a splash at, at any time in my life, Well, you actually. make a lot of them. <laughs> so, no, honestly, I didn't. I'll call Senator Hanson. But just like her 1996 maiden speech, Pauline Hanson's comeback speech made headlines. Now we are in danger of being swamped by Muslims. This time, though, Senator Hanson knew what lay ahead of her. You know, I'm not this 
new kid on the block that I was back then. And it was with that new confidence that she launched Operation Burka. It was a bit of a top secret operation, Operation Burka. <laughs> I didn't even tell my staff. When you truly believe in something, I think, you know, you still have to take a stance on it because yeah. I know that I've got a majority of Australians who agree with me on this. Mm. For the first time, we can show you the lead up to the strangest day in the Senate for some time. And um, it's a horrible thing. What was Terrible. it like to wear? Um, it's, it's dreadful. Um, look at that. That's all it is. That's where your eyes, that's where you see. You feel so claustrophobic in it and it's so um, unnatural to me. But aren't we telling people how they can dress if you say you can't wear it? They are being forced to wear it. And that's why the women in these countries are now protesting because they don't want to be forced to but wear it. But some women they do want to wear it. They say that that's part of their Then good, faith. go to, find another country that suits you then. Mm. Go and wear it in another country. What's it like to wear it? Layla, pull it on. Oh, no, I'm not going to put it on. You put it on. No, what was I've it? worn it once. I don't like the bloody garb. I think it's horrible. And I've worn it once. People see me in it. And it's not, it's not something that I want to wear again. In fact, there's nothing about the burqa that doesn't offend her. I can even stitch better than that. Look at it. Do you say they make a fortune out of it? You could go into that. the burqa business. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> well, you said you could sew a good one. A poll conducted days after what many called a stunt found the majority of Australians agreed with Senator Hanson. And this week, she's launching a book of her speeches, okay. which she hopes will show voters there's more to her than the headlines. If you're really interested in who Pauline Hanson is and what I actually stand for, what I want to achieve, then read my speeches in full. Understand me. Don't be an armchair critic when you have no idea who I am, what I stand for. Her supporters are rock solid, but there will always be people who disagree with Pauline Hanson. While this book may not change their minds... What I want you to understand about politics, always have a voice. Come on, honey, there's no doubt that Senator Hanson is passionate, determined and ready to fight for what she thinks is right. I'm having my say now. Well, I can and I have the opportunity because there's too many gutless bastards in this place that think the way that I think but haven't got the bloody guts to stand up and do something about it. And the battler, who in 1996 many wrote off is out of her depth, says she's just getting started. So do you think you've got another 20 years in you? Oh, I don't know about 20, but um, I'll be standing in four and a half years' time for that election. So you're not going anywhere? No! I'm Some going people to... might be disappointed to hear that. Yeah, probably. You know what? I couldn't care less. Stip Vickies. <laughs> Senator Hanson's new book, Pauline, in her own words, is available tomorrow.